we're back. In yeah. fact, we're not back because we this haven't is, been anywhere really. Have we? No, this is a private showing. This one. It is. It is. Um, so today, Clark Kent and I. <laughs> We're doing a brinjal pickle. We're going to binge on the bringe. Come on, it took me two hours to come up with that. I could so go somewhere uh, with that. Not going to so this is <laughs> Chili Project's prototype batch one, 10 of 30, brinjal pickle, containing aubergine, or brinjal, if you want to call it that, rapeseed oil, vinegar, brown sugar, garlic, chili powder, ginger, salt, mustard seeds, cumin seeds, fenugreek seeds, tamarind, turmeric, fennel seeds, curry leaves. That's sounding rather good to me. I can take these off now. Right. Obviously, being a prototype, you know, we've we, we've got a prototype, not prototypical label there. We're going to give this a go. I love aubergine, but I have to say I have never had brinjal. Well, if you love aubergine. <laughs> You've had yeah, but not not in a not in a curry kind of spiced way. I've had it as like masaka. I've eaten it. Have a smell. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's smelling nice. I can smell the ginger. Mm -hmm. Get the fenugreek, the cumin. Can you smell the bringe? You can't say that, it sounds so wrong. Well, what's wrong with bringe? Look, it says it on the jar, bringe, brinjal pickle. Right. Bicolora, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't take him anywhere, as you know. So, I'm having a little dig there. Oh, it's got a really nice, really nice texture, isn't it? Mm. I'm having a taste, she's having a meal. Right. <laughs> I'm excited. You ready? Mm. Go. good so getting the bringe yeah and it's nice as well it's mm. it's cooked through in such a way that it's still got integrity mm. to it um, there's a little bit of bite there so you know you've still you've actually got something to eat with it so it's kept a really nice texture because it can go quite quite oily can't it and quite soggy if it's not cooked well um, and obviously the best way with, with aubergine is that you know you put salt on it to draw the water out but it's not made it it's not made it soggy at no. all has it I think the spicing is lovely mm. it's got sort of a similar flavour to me to the like the garlic um, garlic naga some of the similar flavours there which I absolutely love but works so well with that you've just got that added little extra sort of earthiness that you get from the aubergine it kind of comes through at the edge and then there's this warming heat that for me was in the throat area more than anything i think if you like the garlic nard nardja it's the bringe it's making me nodge now <laughs> um you might even get gibbering idiot right one day then on the straight won't you no nah. okay. um if you like the garlic naga and the scotch bonnet pickle yeah. then you're going to be pretty pretty safe with this mm. um 
similar, not the same, but no. similar flavours um, going on there. Heat level is kind of there. What I liked about this is the sugar on the finish. Yeah, there's that little bit of, of sweetness isn't yeah. there, that kind of comes through with it. And the other thing as well that struck me was it's not oily. It's got, you can see it, there's, yeah, I mean, there's you, oil. You can, you can feel the oil in your mouth, but it's yeah, not overwhelming. It's not overwhelmingly oily no. and, and sort of greasy feeling in your mouth. You're left with a very kind of clean clean taste but I love the flavour of that I would mm. I would be having that and I think you know bang on with the point to the, the, the cooking of the aubergine I think that obviously you know, we know what he's like he's going to tweak yep. and fine tune but that is a very good place to start from mm. um, absolutely heat wise for you I would probably say two it's, it's actually left a surprising kind of linger in my throat of like the warmth. I'm not, so I'm not getting it in the mouth, it's here. I'm getting it top of the mouth, back of the throat. Um, feels like a naga. Yeah. Um, yeah, heat for me, maybe a three. Um, it's not crazy hot. But it isn't. It's not something you could give to somebody who wasn't chilly officiated in some way, you know. Yeah. If they haven't if they haven't had a chili product before, then they would find this quite warm. Hmm. Um, if you were a bit more familiar with the chili, then you'll be fine with that. Yeah. It's I kind of a medium heat. Yeah, and I don't think even for somebody who is, is a chili head I don't think it needs to go hotter. I think that's actually no. bang on with the right level of heat. <coughs> well, um, I don't know. I, don't, I think you could afford to go a little bit lower, actually, for heat. It depends on where you're targeting. If you're going for a more mainstream, um, you know, curry-going, poppadom-eating crowd, um, then, yeah, you could probably drop it a little bit. Um just to, to give it a wider appeal so the chili wimps will, will be all right with it um you know we're, we're pretty hardened to chili and i'm sitting there saying that, that that's like a low medium for me um if you were going for a milder one then maybe drop it down a tad but don't change the flavors flavors are great mm. so cracking batch one that can't wait to see that added to the range i'm gonna i'm gonna do this bit anyway i know you're watching rick but i'm gonna do it anyway all right so if you want some brindle pickle <laughs> get yourself over at chiliproject.co.uk um this is the obviously prototype version um I would imagine it will probably have some sexy label on there with their, their logo and mm. a bringe, maybe. Like a bringe emoji. Let's not go there. <laughs> right. Oh, I think that's quite enough from me for now. Yeah, I think that's probably more than enough from you. Mm. So, thank you ever so much for watching. Absolutely. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. And we'll see you next time you decide to send us something really awesome. <laughs>